Hello students. In our vehicle dynamics class, we will discuss the topic of directional stability of vehicles. So what is directional stability? Directional stability is the stability of a moving body or vehicle about an axis which is perpendicular to its direction of motion. Means, for example, you have a plane here or you can assume a vehicle which is moving in the forward direction and the stability of this plane or a vehicle about an axis which is perpendicular to the screen means about z axis this point means uh, if we assume an axis which is uh, perpendicular to the direction of motion of the aeroplane and perpendicular to the plane of the screen then about that axis the stability of this plane or vehicle will be called the directional stability stability of a vehicle concerns itself with the tendency of a vehicle to return to its original direction in relation to the oncoming medium water air road surface etc when disturbed away from that original direction it means that if your vehicle is moving in a forward direction and then it is disturbed by some uh, resistance that is water air or we can say road surface and uh, the tendency of your vehicle to return to its original direction after disturbance is called directional stability if a vehicle is directionally stable a restoring moment is produced which is in a direction opposite to the rotational disturbance it means that for example this is your disturbing force or we can say disturbing moment if your vehicle or plane will be directionally stable then it will produce a couple opposite to the disturbing couple which will uh, which will uh, direct it in the forward direction so that its stability will be maintained this pushes the vehicle so as to return to its original orientation thus tending to keep the vehicle oriented in the original direction so it means that the directional stability will keep your vehicle stable if it is disturbed by some external force directional stability is frequently called weather vaning it is also called weather vaning actually weather vaning is an instrument which is uh, used to find the direction of wind because a uh, directionally stable vehicle free to rotate about its center of mass is similar to a weather vane rotating about its vertical pivot now uh, there are some examples that is spacecrafts and vehicles if we leave the spacecrafts vehicles generally have a recognizable front and rear and are designed so that the front points more or less are in direction of motion arrows darts rockets and airships have tail surface to achieve the stability so you can say uh, that your aeroplane generally have a tail or we can say fin to provide the directional stability but in road vehicles the most of the stability will be uh, contributed by the distribution of the mass of the vehicle so lastly we will uh, analyze this dynamics of road vehicle so if you have a four wheeler here and this is your uh, horizontal plane and uh, your four wheeler has a center of gravity like this point and uh, this is your front tires so your front tires or front axle is at a distance small a from the center of gravity and your rear tires or rear axle is at a distance small b from the center of gravity and uh, your vehicle is heading towards this direction which is theta angle from the horizontal but it is actually moving at a, in a distance which is pointing towards the shy uh, with the horizontal surface so what will happen uh, this diagram illustrates a four wheel vehicle in which the front axle is located at a distance a ahead of the center of gravity so as i told you this is center of gravity front axle is at a distance a and rear axle is at a distance b aft of the center of gravity so this is your uh, rear axle and it is at a distance b from the center of gravity the body of the car is pointing in a direction theta while it is traveling in a direction shy so it's actually heading towards its uh, hub is towards at, in this direction which is theta but it is actually moving in a direction which is at angle shy in general 
there are no uh, these are not same the tire treads uh, treads at a, at the region of contact point in the direction of travel so what will happen in this case if your hub is in this direction and vehicle is moving in this direction so your uh, the contact patch of the your uh, tire will be distorted but the hubs are aligned with the vehicle body with the steering held at center uh, the, the tires distort as they rotate to accommodate this misalignment so due to this mis misalignment to accommodate this mis misalignment your tires will have to distort their shape will be distorted means their tread pattern will be distorted and generate side force which is also called slip angle which we have uh, discussed in the previous cases so this covers your topic of directional stability okay guys thank you